Hello everyone, I am Lord Dragon, Ryan Angel, and this is my AEW All Out Prediction. It is tomorrow. I forgot what time it is, it's like 6 o'clock. So, yeah. After about getting close to, this is the fourth All Out. Is it? Yeah, this is number four. After many years, I have realized that every single AEW pay-per-view has been shocking. But this one is quite different. It's like, there's like two, maybe three build-ups to this pay-per-view that, one, I'm interested, the other is not that much, and all the others are like put together. There's 15 matches on this damn pay-per-view. And holy shiky. Yeah, I'm not cussing. This, okay, I've, over the years, I've, like, you cannot, like, oh, god damn, I can't pronounce this. Um, do not, like, underrate AEW. I know they got, like, a whole bunch of crap that they need to fix, like, too many employees, employees are unhappy, yeah, but I'm just going to talk about the pay-per-view, which, the build-up is, yeah, I'm having deja vu moments from, I think it was All Out 2020, no, no, that was, it, that one had issues, but it was just the day, oh, gosh, I think it had been, um, the last pay-per-view, uh, the last one was, um, Forbidden Doors. They only had, like, a month to prepare that. This feels just like that. But, it, there's gonna be, there's some good matches on this card. Fifteen matches in total. Four on the, uh, zero hour, that's pretty much the buy-in. That starts at seven, which I think is six. At my time. So, here we go. We're going to go through each match of what I predict that's going to happen. Stars, minutes, winner. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's start with our first match. Which is... Okay, I'm going to butcher this name. Uh, Tonoto... Sh Tonoto Shinagi... Uh, what the hell his name is? Uh, versus Eddie Kingston, who's had problems... With Sammy Guevara, who shockingly is on this pay-per-view as well. So, this one's gonna be a lot... Th this is gonna be a straight-up fight right here. Um, Yeah, a lot of choppy choppies. Winner, Eddie Kingston. Wait, who won last time? Oh, hell, I gotta look it up. But, yeah, Eddie's gonna win this. Match quality, it's gonna be big, two big guys chopping each other. Um, I'll say, i say three, maybe three and a half stars. The time, short, it's on the buy show, so, ten minutes, maybe less. But yeah, the first match, maybe the second. Now, moving on to match number two. This is for the, what the hell kind of title is this again? Um, the Atlantic. Championship pack versus Kit Shape Sabin Sable Sabin Sable Kip. Okay, let's just call him that. Okay, where this match? Ugh. Pack. I like new champions, but pack. Why? Pack. He hasn't had the title for that long, so yeah, keep it on him. And he has been defending it pretty well now. But yeah, pack. Um, time, I'm not sure, I'm going to say like 8 minutes, maybe. 8 to 10, it's going to be the same as the first one. 3 stars, maybe a little less, but 3. These aren't, oh yeah, for, it's been a while since I've seen any kids' matches. And I forgot what kind of type, I think he is a kind of a cruiserweight high flyer. But yeah, pack win, around 8 to 10 minutes, 3 stars, a little less. Okay, moving on. 
Okay, we have Hook defending the FTW Championship against Cool Heart. Uh, Apato, Adato, uh, what the hell your name is? Ah, uh, winner Hook. This is going to be kind of Hook's. Yeah, this could be a good compan, a uh, good competitor to Hook. Winner will be Hook. Match quality. His matches have been kind of slow. Well, short. It's going to be interesting. Um. I say. This is going to be a lot longer than his five minute matches. I say seven, maybe nine ish. Not going to be over ten minutes. I say two, maybe three stars. That's. I'm actually looking forward for this match. And then we have this new one of... Ah, oh, hell. This is, um... Sammy Guevara and Tai... 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 Mata... Mata... You. Defending their AAA World Mix Tag Team Titles against Ultis and... Ruby Soho. Oh. This one's gonna... I don't know, hell. I saw their match on Dynam on Rampage. And... Uh, gonna be 10 minutes. Winners of this. I would like to see new champions. So I'm gonna say Ortiz and Ruby Soho. I know I'm gonna be wrong, but... Damn it, I want new champions. I have no idea how long they've been champions anyway, so... Um... Less than three stars. Yeah. I think that's a good one. Comment in what you think about that match. Hell, it just came out of nowhere. Okay, now we are moving on to the actual main event. Here we go. I have no idea if this is going to be the first match on the card, but it'll be shocking. Daniel Bryan versus Chris Jericho. Lionheart Chris Jericho. Oh boy. This came out of nowhere, but we've had some good time on it. Of promos and talking about it. I will have to say... Chris Jericho has been on a losing streak almost. He did one at double or nothing in that Anarchy Arena match. So I'm going to have to say I think uh, what the hell his name was that they were fighting over? The Dragon Killer. Uh, he may come in here and I think Chris Jericho will win this. He'll come in, interrupt the match. Chris Jericho's a winner. What will happen in this match? I think Jericho will hit the Judas effect, and Daniels may count out. I don't know. I'm looking forward for that. But, uh, it's going to be really hard. Okay. Time. 20 minutes maybe a little bit more these are two really good submission competitors so 20 minutes plus four to five stars maybe i'm gonna say four and a half depends on how good it gets that right there is gonna be <laughs> That's going to be an interesting one. It's so, okay, so, moving on to the women's four-way match for the interim women's championship. I don't really like the interim titles because it's kind of, I think the uh, main event's going to be pretty interesting, but I just noticed throughout this entire pay-per-view there ain't gonna be no special matches but except for the ladder match that is it there's like no cage no dis no disqualifications there may change who knows 
But this match, winner, um, oh gosh, we have DMV, Britt Baker, Jimmy Hager, Hokata Shida, and Tor Tori Storm. Winner, Storm. She was supposed to win. I like to see, I like to see her win this. Well, I know she's gonna probably win this. No point on that. So, winner, Storm. Match quality. This could go 15 minutes, maybe? It's a four-way. Is this going to be a four-way elimination? If it is, it could be a little bit more. But it's not. It's going to be a four-way. So, 15 minutes. Ah, stars... Um, I'm going to say, oh boy, what the hell are the stars going to be on this going to be? All great competitors, all have had some good matches, and some that have not. I'll say three and a half, maybe. It depends on how chaotic it gets. So, yeah. Storm, winner, 15 minutes or less, three and a half. Okay, here's a match that I really did not want to be on this pay-per-view. If it was, it would have been a singles match between, um, God, I can't remember all these guys' names, um, Malachi Black versus Miro. But no, we have a freaking three-on-three trios match. Of the Dark, the House of Black versus Darby Allen, Daddy, Sting, and Miro. A.K.A. two former TNT champions versus the House of Black. Winner, House of Black, because I've heard that Malachi Black asked for his release date. And I think he's going to win this just to make him happy. Which I like to see Darby Allen and them win, but House of Black. This is going to be okay, but I'm worried about Sting mostly. He's the one person I'm worried about the most. He could mess up this whole match, but less than 15 minutes. I say around 12. Um, uh, Stars three maybe three and a half depends on how crazy darby allen gets and how tough miro is um yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be odd so you don't know what this one's gonna be that's why i love about ew you don't know what's gonna happen moving on okay Here's something that they probably have been building for a while. A couple of months of Jay Cardell versus Athena for the TBS title. Um, I like new champions, so I'm going to go with Athena. Now the TBS title has not been having some good matches. Everything like less than five minutes. Uh, the one that was like a... Uh, Athena was like... At Revolution, or I think it was Double or Nothing. There was a match that I saw. It was like one and a half stars, and that was like the worst match on the card. So this could be a little bit better. It's gonna be probably one of the worst matches on the card, but it be a little interesting. Eh, who knows? So, winner Athena. Time. I'm going to give this a little bit more. Maybe 8 minutes. Eh, maybe 8 to 7. Maybe 7, 8. Around there. Maybe. I don't know. Winner Athena. I don't think the baddie club's going to interfere with this. They might. Ugh. Match quality. Probably 2 and a half stars. Be better than her other. So moving on. Okay. This is a match that has been months in the making. Jungle Boy versus Christian Cage. 
And I, holy crap. Christian Cage has gone a little too far. But, this is a match that I'm looking forward to. This may be match of the night. Maybe. In storytelling. Winner, Jungle Boy. And I'm hoping Jungle Boy will win this. He will... They're going to probably have another match later on. Probably the road to fall, fall out. No, no, full gear. And it could be a different type of match. No cage, ladder, who knows. So, yeah. Time... This is going to be a good one. 20 minutes. 16 or 20 minutes. One of the two. Within there. Of 16 or 20 minutes. Stars? Ooh. Four and a half to five, maybe. I'm going to stick with that four and, a, four and a half. Four to four and a half, right there. There could be a good chance I could be wrong and it will hit like uh, four three fours that's has that has happened before so this match i'm looking forward to it it's gonna be up there in the top four main events of uh, this another match and then the main event so up there okay here's a match i did not want or it could have they could have like do like two matches right here of the tag team in the tnt so this match right here should not even happen, but it is, so I'm going to shut up and... Okay, the build-up to this last on Rampage was actually pretty good. Of Warlow FTR versus Jay Lethal in Moto City Machine Gun. Here's the thing, I don't think these two teams have ever faced each other of... If FTR and Motor Machine, Motor Machine, no, Motor City Machine Gun, okay? And I wish that this was split in half and Motor Machine Gun had the Impact titles and they were defending it, but damn, wasted opportunity right here. Wardlow, Jay Lethal, I have no idea why you two are in here. It's like Impact versus, uh, AEW right here, or, uh, yeah, AEW versus Impact. That's basically what this match is. <laughs> I just realized it could be No More Honor versus Impact. No, versus AEW. My brain is not working right now. So, winner of this match, Wardlow and FTR. Maybe these two teams will split and M FTR will finally face the Young Bucks for the Impact. I mean, for the. God damn it, I cannot pronounce anything right now. Versus the Young Bucks. Actually, I think that could be a good thing right there. Like, Wardlow and FTR. That'd be later on, but, um. Face for the Trios titles, and. That's gonna be another prediction. Okay. Match quality. This is going to be kind of an out of control match. Everything's going to go to hell. I say 15, maybe 18 minute long match. This is Motor, Mach Motor City Machine Gun. Who knows? These are high flyers versus two high, kind of high flyers and one big man. Stars. I say four stars right here. This could be four stars. Eh, who knows? Moving on. Okay, here's another match I'm looking forward to because there's a lot of big names and one name that I hope that's going to be here. So this is a four-man casino ladder match, and I've forgotten what the damn uh, rules were. By eight, there's eight men, so. They're going to come out one at a time in a 30 to 90 second delay time. Okay, so we have Cardio, the Ring of Honor World Champion, Wida Ludo? Ludo? The uh, Pure Champion? 
Then we have the Lucha Brothers, uh, Pentagon and Ray Phoenix. Then we have Idrade and Roosh. And then we have, uh, who the hell is that in the back? Uh, at you. And then we have our mystery opponent. That I think the mystery opponent is going to win this. That's MJF. He's going to win this damn thing. This damn ladder match. So, yeah. This is going to be a 20-minute long match right here. Close to five stars, maybe. Close. A lot of big, high-flying names right here. So, this is going to be an out-of-control match that I'm hoping for. Wait. Cannot wait to see. Cannot wait to see who the hell that Joker is. Oh, what the hell. If it's, if it's not MJF, then it's going to probably be damn, uh... Hope it's not Jeff Hardy. Because I think Jeff Hardy still needs to stay in rehab. Um, maybe it could be the person that we have not seen in a while. That would be, um, Johnny Elite. He'd be a good, a good competitor. I'd like to see him win and face, um, CM Punk for the world title. Yeah, it'd be like a call back from when they were facing for the, um, ECW title. That is what I like to see. There's probably people in the comments hoping that it's not that. So, moving on to the tag team title. Okay, so we have. Huh, wow. This one. I'm looking forward to. Don't know what's going to happen. But. Swirl. Shrieking? Swirl. And Keekly versus the Acclaim. Oh man. I like new champions. So I'm gonna pick the Acclaim. Why? Because I think they they deserve a title. They have not won a title. They deserve it. And also I like to see the rap. So, time, ten minutes. Stars three, maybe three and a half, depending on how good they are. How long it takes and also how high flying, how big moves. So yeah, that, that's a quick one right there. Now then, here's one that's been building up, but not in a story mode. Just in a good friends going to beat the crap out of each other. Of the Dark Order versus the Elite. Of Kenny Omega, the Young Bucks. And the facing Hangman Adam Page. In the Dark Order. This right here. Oh man. This is going to be. This is going to be exciting. Former friends. Versing each other. In story mode. There's nothing that much there. So this is going to be. A good fun. Fight. Good fun fight. For everyone. Winners. Oh boy. I don't know who's going to win. I... Kenny Omega is not really that much healed, so I doubt they will win. So, I'm going to pick Hangman Adam Page in the Dark Order will win the Trio's Tag Team Titles. The Trio Championship Titles. What the hell time in stars? I don't know if the Dark Order is that good of the, the, the high flying and all that. Um, they're gonna there's gonna be some comedy in there, good comedy. Uh, damn. I'm gonna have to say four, maybe a five, four and a half to be. Be honest. Okay, let's just say four and a half. Uh time, time, time. I say twenty minutes. Maybe a little more. It ain't gonna go past twenty five minutes. So yeah, there's that. Okay. So moving on to our main event. No no no. We have two more or three more. How many matches do we have left? Two more. Two Freaking more. 
Wait a minute. Ah, oh, shit. I never did fix that. Okay, so we have, um, uh, damn it. I forgot to put the damn photo up. Um, Powerhouse, Powerhouse Hall versus Ricky, uh, Ricky, Ricky, um, yeah, Ricky. Um, one second. Where it is? Where is that damn photo? Where is that damn photo? Um, oh, there you are. There you are. Okay. So, Ricky Start Starter Start. So, can't pronounce it. Versus Powerhouse Hall. This is gonna be. This is actually a match that they've been building up to. Winner, Powerhouse. Why? Because, yeah. Um, three stars. I don't know that much matches of Powerhouse. It's been like little short, quick matches. So yeah, I say less than three stars, maybe two and a half. Depends on how good it is, three stars. Time, eight minutes less. Yeah, this is a quick one. We're moving on. Then we're going to have the damn trios match. So yeah, there's that. Then our main event of John Moxley versus C M Punk. C M Punk. Hometown. Oh boy. Winner of this damn match, CM Punk. Why? Because if MJF wins the ladder match, and if he does show up at this event, okay, if it isn't MJF that does not come in at the casino ladder match, then MJF will probably run in this match and cause CM Punk to win. Or CM Punk will turn heel and then cheat to win the title. I don't know. All I know is something big is going to probably happen at the end of this damn match. Or during the match. We're just going to have to watch and find out. So, tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, live on pay-per-view at the Noun Arena. I hate that damn arena. The Noun Arena. Very short, small venue. They could just do what they did at the damn... I know they couldn't do that. I thought they could just do what they did um, for um, CM Punk's debut. That would be at the... um, Or... Actually, that's the same arena, isn't it? Where um, Forbidden Door was at. I can't remember what the damn venue was. But it, it holds like more than 15,000 people. That could have been a good all-out number right there. Have more people at your biggest pay-per-view of the year. Oh, hell, every single pay-per-view AEW has is the uh, biggest pay-per-view of the year. Every single one. So, where this match, CM Punk, time, close to 30 minutes, maybe. Actually, more. This is going to be more than 30 minutes. Match, I like to say five stars because their first match was, um, crap. So, 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes plus. Uh, four and a half to five stars. A little bit more, maybe, but nah. This is going to be a straight up fight right here. But it's going to be interesting. There's going to be lots of blood. Actually, how many blood's going to be in this entire pay-per-view? I know the, um, I should have done one where I can predict of what happens during the whole event. I know there's going to be probably like two or three matches going to have blood in it. And that, this is one of them. The next one's going to probably be, um, well, this one could have it. And I say, this is going to definitely have blood in it. 
because these are two bleeders. Um, so yeah, this one as well. I doubt this one. It could with ladders. I'm gonna put like three, maybe a half blood matches. This could be a blood one. No, no. Uh, I doubt it. This one definitely. So, who will make their debut? I will have to say, where the hell this guy is that's been picking talent up. He could make a debut of his new faction in the um, AEW world. MJF could make a return. Uh, what else? What else? There's a lot of people who want to get out of AEW. Not a lot that want to get in. Adam Cole could make a debut. He could interrupt the trios match and start a little rivalry with Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks. But I think that um, Bobby Fish already quit. No, no, I think he wants out or I don't know what the hell's going on with that. So, in point, this is my prediction of what's going to happen tomorrow at All Out. But this is AEW, so <laughs> throughout all of AEW, you don't know what's going to happen. You just don't know. You think you know what's going to happen, but in reality, you don't know what's going to happen. So, cannot wait. And I will be reacting to All Out. To both the buy-in and the actual pay-per-view. So, thank you so much. And if you have a comment, comment down below of what you think is going to happen. you got about 24 hours. So, yes. See you all next time. I am Ryan Angel. And this is my channel, Lord Dragon. Later.